Bizarre Brain Comics. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yes. Here once again is the dark librarian <laughs> here to tell you tales of terror. <laughs> I'm here with my friend, Mr. Bones. We are here for Bizarre Brain Comics. <laughs> Aren't we, Mr. Bones? See, Mr. Bones is speaking. <laughs> Would you like a drag on my pipe, Mr. Bones? <laughs> he has no lungs. He can't. He can't. <laughs> ah. And this time we're going to talk about a comic that Mr. Bones is holding in his skeletal hands is the mini uh, uh, the mini ghosts of Dr. Graves. This is issue 42. 42! <laughs> the answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything. <laughs> from Charlton Comics. <laughs> Ooh, Mr. Bones, you moved. And we will consult the big book of knowledge. Won't we, Mr. Bones? Not that one? Definitely not that one. Ooh, here we are. The Mini Ghosts of Dr. Graves, number 42, from Charlton Comics, 1973. And the story we're going to look at is An Unfinished Tale by Joe Gill and drawn by Tom Sutton. And The Mini Ghosts of Dr. Graves is an American horror anthology title from Charlton Comics. It often figured, um, featured stories by... Steve Ditko. We all know Steve Ditko. Then Dr. Graves was the fictional horror host. And he occasionally participated in the stories he told. And it ran from 1967 to 1986 for a total of 75 issues. And the character of Dr. Graves was created by Ernie Bach. Maybe it's Bachi. Many of, of the creators in this title also worked in sister titles, such as Ghost Manor, hosted by Mr. Bones. Oh, you were a host too, Mr. Bones. Ghostly Haunts, hosted by Winnie the Witch. Ghostly Tales, hosted by Mr. Dead. That's D-E-D-D. -E -D -E. <laughs> and Haunt, uh, Haunted, hosted by Impy, and later Baron Werewolf. I like that name better. Dr. Graves was introduced in issue 55 of Ghostly Tales in the story The Ghost Fighter by Ernie Back, before hosting his own title. Now, the artist Tom Sutton... He was uh, from 1937 to 2002. He was an American comic book artist, best known for his work for Marvel Comics. He did a lot of inking over there. And Warren Publishing's black and white horror magazines such as Creepy, Eerie, and Vampirilla. <laughs> and that's what we've got. Okay. Is that enough info for you, Mr. Bones? Ooh. Bones. Hmm. Have a sip. Mr. Bones can't sip. 
And now, we will join the many ghosts of Dr. Graves in a haunting, haunting tale. The many ghosts of Dr. Graves. And here we have a great cover by Tom Sutton. Uh, Tom Sutton was known in the uh, through the through the seventies, doing a lot of covers, especially for the uh, for Charlton, and especially for their their horror titles. <laughs> Hello, Yorick. <clears throat> and uh, this cover illustration goes with the story inside that we're going to be talking about. And here it is. <clears throat> An unfinished tale, but it starts over here. A prologue. It was back back in time in India. In ancient times in, in India, a man is captured and he's gazing gazing upon this beautiful woman. It says and he says, I came to see thee goddess. She's a goddess, goddess of the storms. I was told thine eyes held more beauty than all the world. And having beheld thee, I face death smiling. You must, invader. It has been written, written so. But I, Kali, have the power to grant thee reincarnation in a happier time. Chunk. He just lost his head. So here we are. Then, in the present, in India, there's this this fellow. What's his name? Ah, uh, Earl Thompson. And here's our host, Doctor Graves. And he's telling telling the story how that this this man Earl Thompson is in India. And this is a really nice job here on this uh, this ancient temple in the background. And he's talking with this young, lovely young lady. And, he said, and he's saying how he's read translation of the Puranas, Miss, Sh Miss Shindi. And one of those ancient texts is of great interest to me. And he's talking to her and he wants, wants her to lead him to the fabled temple of Kali. If you know, and if you've watched Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, that's someplace you don't want to go, because that was the Temple of Kali where they were killing everybody. Anyway, she said uh, she agrees, but tells him that it won't be what he he expects. And here they are, off into the off into the uh, Indian jungles, and they uh, set up. On, on elephants to get them through. It's a really nice elephant there, Indian elephant. And it is real good with the with the costuming for the period for the location and stuff. And they're tramping through the through the forest, camping, and they and they chat. And they talk get, get to know each other a little bit better. When we first met, did you feel for a moment that we had met before? Yes, but that could be explained. Majira. Majira is her proper name. Oh, and yes, Arl, it was another place and another time. Oh. And then they talk about Kali and her husband, Shiva, the destroyer. Ah, but Shiva destroyed only to restore what he destroyed. In a better, purer form. Saint Kali is goddess of the wind and also goddess of death. Nice, nice draftsmanship. I think he did a better job here than he did in the uh, um, overall in the Vampirella stuff, which from several years early earlier, which I covered last year for Halloween. And here is oh, while, while he's sitting there, there's a cobra appears, and he's a. She says, don't move, don't move. And he's about to be attacked 
by the cobra and he inserts himself between him and her but then she stops him and then her eyes flash and suddenly the cobra is gone how did you do that perhaps it was a hypnotism or some kind of oriental magic like the hindu rope trick oh, she's got him got him hooked he's very interested and finally they arrive and it says there it is arl the secret temple of kali have you ever seen that before no only an old woodcut or or an engraving somewhere perhaps but otherwise it, but he's thinking the temple looks familiar to him no it is no it has never been seen and there have been no photographs no no woodcuts no engravings no so you could, couldn't have seen it before, not in this life. This is a nice, nice shot right here. It's a long, long panel so that you can see him in relation to the, to the temple. And they enter the temple and there are acolytes there. And he, she has him stay right here until you're called for. Then he is called for and he goes up, escorted up the uh, the stairs till he meets oh well, there there's Majira she's sitting on the throne oh and he comments on how nicely she looks in that slinky dress and says do not address me in such a manner again and he does and she says Did, would you give your life oh explain please the tale of the Aryan warrior who entered this temple even though he would pay with his life would you give your life in such a way? Yes, Kali, because she insists that she is actually Kali. I offer it now. You are a man of great and rare courage, Arl Thompson. So it looks like, like that other guy, he's going to lose his head. And there you see, there you see that the multi-armed sculpture. Backlit. And then she says, but... But you won't die, because you have already paid. I've already paid for, for, yes, he's already paid for a glimpse of beauty. Because he is, in fact, she is Kali, and he is, in fact, the warrior. We shall meet again, viewer of beauty, in that flashback there. Yes. He was, and he is the reincarnation of that warrior. And she takes him deeper into the temple. It's a really nice detail on the background in that temple. And says, Whether you're a goddess or woman, Majira, I love you. Those were the magic words. And then they're together. So, there is no temple of Kali, Arl. Not anymore. Are you disappointed? No, Majira. I found you. I think I've been searching for you for a long, long time. Well... That ended kind of funny, didn't it? That ended almost like a romance story. Yeah, it could have, could have been. But it was it was spooky because of the goddess and the reincarnation aspect. No. So it also kind of fits in with the ghostly theme. And that's what I've got this time for the many ghosts of Dr. Graves. Thank you for joining the Dark Librarian. <laughs> Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and remember, comics are...